not get away again, Tubbs, and it's your hide. Come on, Tubbs, shake a leg. Hey, we got a trap. Grab her! Whoa. Tubbs, you banana brain, she got away. Gotcha! Nose trays get away from old Navid. <laughs> Catch a nab the flex. What do we do? We'll just get a back, you numb noggin. That much worth of fortune to us. Come on! Crouch! Oh! Terribly sorry. A, a thousand pardons. Think nothing of it, ma'am. What's that you're mm. eating? Gee, I'm not sure. It's tasty, though. You want to try some? Uh, no, thanks. I, uh, I, I just ate. Don't mind Scrounge, you honey. He's always eating smelly stuff. You know him? Sure. I'd know Scrounge's smell anywhere. You see, I got a sensitive sniffer. That's why they call me the nose. <laughs> the nose knows everybody. But I don't know you. You smell kind of fancy. Yeah. Why is a classy lady like you going to a place like this? Why? Where are we going? You don't know? They're taking us to the city pound. What's that? Some sort of resort? A resort? <laughs> hey, she's funny. <laughs> <laughs> a resort! I love it. I don't see what's so humorous. I didn't bring a thing to wear. <laughs> I didn't bring a thing to wear. Ryan, Ryan. Okay, okay, you knucklehounds, knock it off. Can't you see the little ladies out of her element? Let's make her feel welcome. Who are you? Well, most pups call me Cooler, but you can call me, uh, Cooler. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, you can call me, huh? I'm easy. So tell me, what brings you to this part of town? I'm lost, and I'm trying to find my way home. <laughs> are we all? But don't worry about a thing, Sam. Violet. My name's Violet Vanderfeller. Violet? That's a pretty name. So like I was saying, Sam, stick with me and everything will be just fine. We're here. All right, you walking flea markets. Let's stop everybody out. <laughs> Come on. You've got four legs. Let's move them. returned. Relay the message. <laughs> ah, what a sound. It's great to be home. All right, pups, line up single file. <laughs> and atten 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 attention, suck in those bellies, chests out, shoulders back, tails up. Pups, prepare for inspection. Who's that? That's Bigelow, the pound supervisor, and his pet, Catgut. He looks mean. Yeah, Catgut's one nasty feline. No, I mean Bigelow. Who, Biggie? He's a marshmallow. You mean he's soft-hearted? No, he's soft-headed. Welcome, pound puppies, to the city pound. Some of you are here for the first time, while you others are returning veterans. And proud of it. Here comes our favorite vet now. Hiya, guys. Glad to see you made it back. This is our veterinarian, Dr. Weston. She'll be tending to your medical needs. Doc's one of us. You'll like her. And now to more important matters. We've had a rash of escapes in the last few days. I've had this rash for months. The escapes must stop and stop now. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we'll make sure you all stay in your cages. My associate, Mr. Nabbit, will be assisted by two experienced guard dogs. Itchy, snitchy, look lively. <laughs> And we plan to keep a close watch on those of you who keep sneaking out at night. Like the nose, for instance. Fifteen escapes. <laughs> and Scrounger, twenty-nine escapes. Wow. And finally, Cooler, seven hundred and sixty-two escapes. It's a nasty habit. I'm trying to quit. And so, to prove I mean business this time, Cooler, I'm going to make an example of you. Nabbit, place Cooler in solitary confinement for 30 days. <laughs> Come on, Cooler. It's solitary for you. <laughs> Shake a leg. This is awful. Don't sweat it, my. Cooler will get out of it. He always does. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that dog? Obviously a severe case of Capasiga Numa Manana. Is that serious? Extremely. There's no way he can be placed in solitary confinement in his present condition. Oh, very well. Take care of him, Doctor. And Nabbit, lock up the rest of the dogs for the night. Right on, Mr. Bigelow. <laughs> <laughs> Cooler Sika gets him every time. <laughs> I think I have just the remedy, old pal. And it's cheese-flavored, too. All right, you mutts, in you go. Let's move it, hurry up, nose. Come on, scrounger. <laughs> and the same goes for you, cooler. Cooler? I thought he was dying. Another miraculous recovery. <laughs> You crazy pound puppies! Howdy, Cooler! Let's get to work. Hey, Howler, give me a high C. Perfect. Two puppies on the to my attention. Scrounger, report to sanitation. Three puppies are on deck, ready for pickup. Bright eyes, you're needed in surveillance. Welcome back, sir. Barkerville, you sly dog. How goes the battle? Exceptionally well, sir. In the past 24 hours, we've found homes for 76-pound puppies. Not bad, Barky. Oh, uh, this is Sam. She's new. A pleasure to meet you, Sam. Is that short for Samantha? Yes. I mean, no. My name's not Sam. It's it's Violet. Violet Vanderfeller. Oh, of the Hempstead Vanderfellers or the Scarsdale Vanderfellers? Hempstead, of course. Now, will someone tell me what's going on around here? Hey, no problem, Sam. It's simple. This is Pound Puppy Mission Control. Our job here is to find a happy home for each and every pound puppy. And for all other dogs who are lost or stolen or just trying to get home. Dogs like you. You mean you can help me? Can we help you? Can we help you? Can we help her? I believe it can be arranged, sir. We can help you. Oh. What's shaking outside, Bright Eyes? Not much cooler. The doc's leaving for the night. Itchy and Snitchy are doing their thing. Nabbit's tubing out. Bigelow's asleep on the job again and... Hey, we've got a problem at the back gate. Is it animal, mineral, or vegetable? Vegetable. A pair of rotten tomatoes. Oh, no! Those are the two creeps who pupnapped me. Pupnappers? Sam, I never knew. You never asked. Scrounger! You rang? We got visitors. Call out the welcoming committee. Oh, I'd be delighted! <laughs> yo -ho. Itchy, snitchy, in the mood for a little snack. I thought so. All right, boys. Touch! Come on, Tubbs. Let's grab that pup and blow this pup stand. Uh-oh, I think it's starting to rain. <laughs> So 
much for those goons. But I have a bad feeling they'll be back. I'm coming! I'm coming! Keep your pants on! City Pound, Supervisor Bigelow speaking. Mr. Bear! Surprise! Mr. Mr. Mayor, sir! Oh, why, who, who, where, how, how can I help you? I gotta talk to you, Bigelow. It concerns your future within my administration. My future, sir? That's right. And I've got to settle this tonight. I'll be right over. Oh, what the, right now? Oh, my gosh. I gotta clean up this place. Looks like a disaster area. That should keep old Biggie busy for a while. Now let's get this show on the road. Barkerville, how many pups are we shipping out tonight? We have four scheduled and ready to go, sir. The homes are already lined up. All right, then, let's move them out. Yay! <laughs> but, Cooler, I thought you were going to help me. We are, Sam, we are. Bright Eyes, Howler, get over here. I need you to find this little lady's home. Sure thing, Cooler. They'll need a scent to follow. Uh, your collar should be just the ticket. Wow, pretty. And perfumey, too. <laughs> All right, you knucklehounds. Get out on the street, and I mean it. Right, Chief. But shouldn't I go with them? Uh, not a good idea, Sam. Your friends are still looking for you out there, and I think they mean business. Once the lights go out, Tubbs, we'll climb over the fence and sneak in through the skylight. Yeah, those guard dogs can't get at us on the roof. Then we'll take off with the mutton call of the family. What if they don't pay the ransom, Flack? They will, or they can kiss their precious little puppy. Goodbye. <laughs> Shall we go meet your new families? You bet! Then let Pie Pail it out of here! Oh, good evening, Mr. Mayor, sir. <laughs> Supervisor Bigelow <laughs> is expecting you. <laughs> what you say, Sam? How about a little Din Din? It's Violet. Well, you call it Violet, I call it Din Din. Whatever it's called, let's eat. I uh, know it's nothing fancy, but we didn't know you were coming. Madame, allow me. Uh, we'll both have the regular Louis and the uh, easy on the garlic this time. But of course, monsieur, you don't want to get the doggy breath, do you? <laughs> Fortunately, Louis's food is better than his jokes. Mr. Mayor, you're looking younger and healthier every day. Cut the chit chat, Bigelow. Just tell me this. How long have you been the city's pound supervisor? Fifteen long years, Mr. Mayor. So I'll bet you're ready for a change, aren't you? Do you mean a new position within the city government? Exactly, Bigelow. I'm moving you out of the pound. And what is my new position? Your title will be Street Manager of Sanitation. Street manager of Senate? What? Why, that's a garbage man! Correct. You'll be taking over my son Arnold's job. He's sick of garbage, thinks it's yucky. So I've given him your job. My job? 
But, Mr. Mayor, you can't do this to me. I just did, Bigelow. Pack your things. Arnold's taking over tonight. Oh. Mr. Mayor, I beg of you. Stop it, Bigelow. I can't stand seeing a grown man grumble. Here's to you, Sam. And to every pound puppy who needs a happy home. <laughs> hey, what's wrong, kid? You look like you've been peeling onions. No, it's just that I miss my family so much. Tell me all about it, Sam. After all, I'm all ears. <laughs> well, it happened about a week ago. Hey, what's going on? It's called a flashback, Sam. Just keep talking. Oh, well, like I was saying, it happened about a week ago. We were playing croquet on the front lawn of the estate. Estate, eh? Sounds ritzy. Yes, I, I think my family is what they call well-to-do. Anyway, I went chasing after a croquet ball out the front gate. That's when I first saw them. There she is, Grabber! Violet! Mommy! Daddy! The bad men took Violet! And they locked me away in their hideout. Those rich people will cough up 10 G's easy for that mutt. Here, Tubbs, mail the ransom note and make it snappy. Sure thing, Flack. I escaped. Tubbs, you lummox, she's getting away. And I've been trying to find my way home ever since, until tonight, when the dog catcher picked me up. Now, now, Sam, no crying. We'll get you home, and that's a promise. Thanks, Cooler. You're a nice guy. In a mangy sort of way, you should have a home of your own. Well, I had one once, but uh, that's a long story. Anyway, I like it here. I'm with my pals, and we're dedicated to finding a home for each and every one of our fellow pound puppies. Well, pal, good luck. And remember, make your new master feel happy, and she'll make you feel happy. You can count on me. Now, who could that be? I wasn't expecting anyone. Oh, sakes alive, a dog! <laughs> now, I wonder who could have left you here. Would you like to come in and keep me company, little dog? <laughs> oh, good, we'll have so much fun. That's the two of us. I think you like it here. The young lass who lives here has been asking for a dog for months, but her dad keeps saying no. He says us puppies eat too much. Can you beat that? I bet he won't let me stay. Oh, I think we can make a deal with him. I get it! <laughs> kind of late for the paper body to be collected. <gasps> it's a puppy! Daddy, please, can I keep him? No way, Sarah. He'll eat us out of house and home. What's this? Congratulations, you've just won the grand prize of the Pound Puppy Giveaway Contest. Along with your new dog, you receive a lifetime supply of dog food. What? Huh. I guess he won't eat us out of house and home after all. Hooray! I can keep him! Hey, how'd you ever get all that dog food, Barker? I thought Nabbit locked up the supply room. He did lock it, but unfortunately, he misplaced his keys. This place is one of our steady customers. And they just put in an order for two more puppies. Oh, that must be our special delivery. P.T., Becky, I think there's someone at the door for you. <laughs> Thanks, pound puppies, from all of us here at the children's home. Ah, Louis, you've outdone yourself this time. That was a feast. It was my pleasure, Monsieur Couleur. And my compliments to Bigelow for keeping his kitchen so nicely stocked with goodies. <coughs> what? You mean we're in Bigelow's kitchen? Where do you think we are, Sam? Buckingham Palace? But what if Bigelow catches us in here? But he's not gonna catch us, Sam. Look, he's in his office having a friendly chat with the mayor. So you see, Sam, there's nothing to worry about. And then again, I, uh, I might be wrong. Gosh, did I do that? Gee, I'm sorry. 
your dessert, monsieur. Strawberry mousse pie. Thank you, Louis. Oops. Oh, poo, it slipped. I'm such a Butterfingers. I don't think he liked your pie, Louis. Obviously, he would not know fine cuisine, even if it hit him in the face. <laughs> Tarnation's gotten into them flea-bitten mongrels. Itchy, snitchy, bite down. Please, Mr. Mayor, don't send me to the sanitation department. I'm allergic to garbage, honest. Hey, what's going on in there? Sounds like an escape. Hey, I was cooler, cooler. We're goners. Come on, Sam. Trust me, will you? It's been swell, you crazy nuts. But it's time for us to shove off. One Sam Hill is what? Never. What's the meaning of this? Ah, yeah. That's it, Bigelow. Your career is over. No, Mr. Mayor. Please. I'll be back with my son within the hour. Be gone by then. And take that flea-bitten Mavic character with you. All right, you knucklehounds, calm down. Let's have some quiet here. Bright Eyes, Howler, what'd you find out about Sam's house? Plenty cooler by following the son of this. <laughs> We've managed to locate the place, and a nice piece of real estate it is. <laughs> It's on the northwest corner of Graham Avenue and Spring Street. Can we get her there? Well, it's a fur piece from here, but we can do it. Good, because we're moving Sam out tonight. Oh, we just got back, Cooler. My nose is sniffed out. Can't we wait till tomorrow? There may not be a tomorrow here. Bigelow's been fired. Oh, no! Oh, yes. As we speak, the mayor's moving in his darling son, Arnold, as the new pound supervisor. Ah, uh, yes. Arnold Fist, the garbage man. A despicable character. Yeah, I've had run-ins with him. He'll lock us up and throw away the key. You've got to do something, Cooler. We've got visitors, Cooler. Those same two rotten tomatoes. They're coming in through the skylight. Don't let them get me, Cooler, please. Don't worry, Sam. They're not going to catch you because we're going to catch them. Yeah. And our man Bigelow is going to get all the credit. What are you driving at, Cooler? A way to get Sam home and Bigelow's job back all in one tidy scheme that's utterly, totally, and completely stupid! Yay! Now, here's the idea. Come on, tub, stink thin. You don't move. Tubs, you hippopotamus. I tore my pants again. Yeah, now your brains are exposed. Come on, we gotta nab that pup before someone catches us in here. She's gotta be around somewhere. Come on, pigeons. Barker, call in the bird dogs. With pleasure, Cooler. Are you sure we're both fired, Mr. Bigelow? I mean, did the mayor mention me by name? No, he mentioned you by smell. Just pack the car, will you, Abbott? What's wrong with those two flea farms now? Itchy, snitchy, come back here. to get you this pound supervisor job. Don't worry, Pop. I'll show those mutts a thing or two. You'll see. <laughs> Hurry up, Nabbit, and step on it. Those mutts are getting away. It's the 
the mayor, Bigelow. I'll have you thrown in jail for this. Nab it, you maniac. Get us out of here. Follow that drift. <laughs> well, at least we lost those guard dogs. That ain't all we lost. <laughs> Look, Tubbs, it's our mutt. She must have broke out of the pound. She's free game now. It's coming right at us. Nabbit, watch where you're going. Look out! Your friends are coming fast, Sam. Bigelow's running a close second. And this honor, the mayor is springing up the rear. Shall we lead them on a merry chase, Mr. Cooler? All the way to Sam's house, Mr. Barkerville. Police Department, uh, this is an emergency. Patch me through to Chief Williams. Hello, Chief. Uh, mayor Fist here. There's a maniac running loose in our city. It's after midnight, Mr. Mayor. What? There's been a jailbreak from the city dog pond? No, 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 I don't need a vacation. Bigelow's doing 90 down Main Street. I want that nut picked up now. All right, all right, yes. I I'll see to it first of all. I'll be down there with a few units in five minutes. Oh, why didn't I listen to my mother and become a psychiatrist? <laughs> We're almost there, Sam. It's over. I know it is. It's all over. Oh, no, it ain't, Mr. Bigelow. Cheer up. <laughs> we'll catch them doggies. I'm not talking about the dogs. I'm talking about my career. It's over. It's over. Hello, Chief. Uh, Bigelow's heading west on Spring Street. <laughs> we got them cornered. <laughs> Try to calm down, Mr. Mayor. You're starting to sound a little batty. We made it! Graham Avenue and Spring Street! <gasps> Cooler! It's my house! I'm really home! Oh, thank you! Thank you all! Oh, shucks, ma'am. Twerk nothing. Now let's get you all inside to your kinfolk. Welcome back. We've been expecting you. <laughs> Phil, what in heavens was that? I don't know, Gloria. Mommy, Daddy, hurry! Those bad men are back! <laughs> Explain, Mr. Mayor, I deal it to the judge, Bigelow. Chief Williams, place this man under arrest. Gladly, Mr. Mayor. Come along, Flack. You too, Tubbs. No, 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 Chief. Not them. Arrest Bigelow. Yeah, arrest Bigelow. But these two are the criminals, Mr. Mayor. 
We've been after them for months. They're wanted in seven states for grand theft dog napping. What? And Bigelow here caught them single-handedly. I did? I mean, I did? I did! You're a hero, Bigelow. Why, I can see the headlines now. Headlines? Pound supervisor captures dog thieves. Ex-pound supervisor. The mayor just fired me. <laughs> no, now, Piccolo. <laughs> Don't be silly, old chip. I was just kidding. You're still the pound supervisor. I am? But, Daddy, you said I was the... Can it, Arnold? <laughs> Why, I'm even going to give you a raise, biggie old pal. A raise? How much? We'll discuss it tomorrow, after we hold a press conference about how we captured those ruthless dog nappers. And so, together, Pound Supervisor Bigelow and I subdued the dreaded felons and delivered them into the hands of justice. What a pile of garbage. Mr. Bigelow, isn't it true that during last night's ordeal, one of your Pound's dogs suffered an accident? Yes. I'm afraid that one pound puppy was struck by the thieves' vehicle. I assure you that our pound veterinarian did everything within her power to revive the pup. But I'm afraid... I'm afraid he's gonna pull through. Cooler! Hey, boys, you look good. I always look good. You can say that again. Glad you're okay, Cooler. Now I'll back into the compound with you. <laughs> and cut that out. <laughs> Ooh, the crazy mutt. When will I see you again, Cooler? Oh, probably not for a long time, Sam. Oh, how long is that? Oh, say tonight at 8. I'll pick you up at your place. You got yourself a date. <laughs> you guys. We got work to do. Barker, how many new pound puppies need homes? Quite a few, Cooler. Well, then don't just stand there. Let's roll these puppies out. Let's move. Let's go. Pound puppies, ho! The magic of Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book comes to life with a Chuck Jones presentation of Mowgli's Brothers. It's the incredible tale of a human baby discovered by a family of wolves. Is that a man's cub? I have never seen one. The kind creatures take the child and raise him as their own. The boy grows strong and free, learning the ways of the jungle well, but his wild days cannot last forever. You must go back to the lairs of men at last. Before leaving his pack, the boy repays their kindness by challenging the wolves' most perilous enemy. Now I know that you are a man. Roddy McDowell narrates this heartwarming story of love and loyalty the entire family will adore. Mowgli's Brothers. From the frigid waters of the Bering Sea come hundreds of thousands of seals settling on the shores of Nova Scotia. These gentle creatures face countless dangers, but no enemy threatens their existence like man. Isn't there any such island, any place we can go and be safe? 
Here's the story of a brave white seal who searches for a haven where his species will be safe. His dangerous quest takes him to a mystical, magical island set in the splendor of the Golden Sea. A masterpiece in animation based on a tale by Rudyard Kipling and narrated by Roddy McDowell, Chuck Jones presents The White Seal. No one's safe when a cobra rules the garden. The great god Prom put his mark upon all our people when the first cobra spread his hood to keep the sun off Prom. Look and be afraid. And when there's two, that means double trouble. There is everything to be gained by killing the people. When the bungalow is empty, we again will be king and queen of the garden. It's up to the mongoose, Ricky Ticky Taffy, to free everyone from the cobra's reign of terror. He's the only one with reflexes quick enough, instinct and wits sharp enough, and raw courage brave enough to take on the deadly cobras, Nog and Nagaina. Victory over the cobra is only a matter of quickness of eye and quickness of foot. Snakes blow against mongooses jump. And as no eye can follow the motion of a snake's head when it strikes. Ricky Ticky Taffy, the Roger Kipling classic comes to life in delightful animation narrated by Orson Welles. The motto of the mongoose family is run and find out. And Ricky was a true mongoose. When snakes strike fear into the garden, Ricky Ticky Taffy must come to the rescue and fight the deadly cobras. It's two venomous villains against one shifty mongoose. Nog is everywhere, oh dear, oh dear. There's going to be a war. The Velveteen Rabbit wanted nothing more than to be a real bunny. He sought advice from his friend, the wise rocking horse, the oldest toy in the nursery. Real? It's not how you're made. It's something that happens to you when somebody loves you. Not just to play with, but really loves you. He got his chance to meet the boy one cold winter night. Rabbits are guaranteed to protect boys, yes, and girls, from storms. He and the child became inseparable, and at last he began to feel like a real bunny. Here's your old toy. That's not a toy, Nana. He's real. An enchanting children's classic based on the book by Marjorie Williams. Narrated by Christopher Plummer, The Velveteen Rabbit. Yeah.